now that CES, formerly known as the Consumer Electronics Show, they don't call it that anymore, has wrapped up, I want to circle back to a company that's at the forefront of one of the hottest trends in tech. I'm talking about Mobileye, the Intel subsidiary that makes advanced driver assistance systems. When you hear autonomous driving, you got to think Mobileye. Now, roughly three years ago, this company was acquired by Intel, and it's become a much-needed growth engine within the gigantic semiconductor company. You can't invest in Mobileye directly, but these guys have a fabulous understanding of what I expect will be one of the greatest growth stories of the next decade, if not beyond. So let's check in with Professor Amnon Shashua. He is the co-founder, president, and CEO of Mobileye to learn more about the future of autonomous driving. Professor Shashua, welcome to Mad Money. Good to see you, sir. Good to see you, Jim. Thank you so much. Uh, one thing I think, uh, just to get started right to the issue, people don't think, um, unless it's a car with no driver, they think there's nothing there. You have a billion dollars in sales. Clearly, it's bigger than just a car without a driver. It's a revolution. No, it's a revolution in a number of ways. First, it's a revolution in saving lives. You know, if more cars will be autonomous, more lives would be, would be saved. A computer will do a better job than, uh, than a human, eventually. Second, it's a revolution of all what we know about transportation, about the, the cost per mile that today is, is, is lowest when you own a car, but in the future, it will be lowest if you have a robotaxi, and be lower if you have an autonomous uh, car. It will even rival the cost of uh, public transportation. So all what we know about transportation will change if we can make it work. Israel's well ahead of the United States in driverless. I don't think that it's a competition between states. Okay. Uh, I think the number of companies that can pull it through, create the technology of autonomous car, is going to be a handful of companies, a small number. Uh, where they are located geographically today in this global world <laughs> doesn't really matter. Would we ever uh, start cars that are driven by people if we were to start over again? Wouldn't we always want it to be driven by machines and not people? It makes a lot of sense to be driven by, uh, by machines. Uh, the only problem is that, you know, automating the concept of driving is so difficult, yet, you know, the public doesn't, th that doesn't understand how difficult it is. Public understands that sending a rocket and, and landing on the moon is very, very difficult. But driving is easy. We all drive. It's, it's kind of a natural thing. You know, we take some few driving lessons, but it's, a very, it's very natural. But when you think about the technology, and all what you need to do in order to put such a machine on the road and make sure that it's safe, it's, it's mind-blowing. Now, we should back up to do all the, talk about some of the incredibly cool things that you're up to for uh, advanced driver assistance systems, because there's a lot more to this than just one day having a, a car without a driver. So we're, we're looking at a spectrum. So the spectrum starts from driving assist, which is called ADAS, Advanced right. Driving Assist. Going up to more advanced, it's called level two uh, plus, where it's conditional autonomy. So the driver is responsible, but under certain conditions, you can let go for certain periods of time. It's called conditional autonomy. Up to autonomous driving, which comes in two phases. First phase is robotaxi. So you don't go and buy such a vehicle. There's an operator who owns a fleet of, of uh, autonomous vehicles and, and use them for ride hailing or ride sharing. And then the holy grail is where you and I can go and purchase a car. At first, it's going to be a premium car, right. of course, but purchase a car. And then at the push of a button, you can sit in the back seat and it will take you to wherever you want to go. Does BMW have that car right now? Nobody has such a car right now. But they do have conditional autonomy cars, yeah. right? But the you know, robot taxis is not that, not that far away. Uh, we are targeting early 2022. Actually, we have been saying so from 2016. Now, people have told me that it's been pushed back to 2025. That's not true. Uh, so maybe they are talking about consumer AV, okay. the, last, the last stage in which okay. you and I can buy, can, can buy a car. Uh, there, are lots, there are a number of good reasons why you want to start with robot taxi rather than jump directly to a consumer. Uh, the first is, is the regulatory front. Okay. It's much easier to uh, regulate an operator that operates a fleet of such uh, vehicles because then you have reporting responsibilities, you have back office, you have teleoperation, right. things right. that you cannot put on a consumer. Second one uh, uh, would be the cost. Right. You know, when you think about the cost of the technology, the self-driving system, today it's somewhere between fifteen to $40,000 per car sensors, compute, mm -hmm. cables, everything. That's okay for a robot taxi. It's not okay for a consumer. But if you bring it down to about $5,000, which we believe we can do to really? 2025, then it starts becoming interesting 
at the consumer level. You know, $5,000 cost, $15,000 to the driver, you buy a premium vehicle for $100,000, $15,000, sounds reasonable for such a, a huge value. And then later, it, of course, it will trickle down to more and less and less uh, premium segments. You're much more bullish on this than most people I talk to who have kind of just said, because we had a couple accidents been set back and there aren't, we, it'll take so many simulations to get to where we have to be in multiple years. This is here and now. This is here around the corner. Domino's but can have a robo. You're telling me because that's what Domino's wants to do. You're telling me that there's going to be robo taxis within the next two or three years. There will be robo if, if you build it right. There will be robo taxis, and and Mobileye builds it right. I'm going to leave it there because that makes me feel good. <laughs> it's been a tough week. <laughs> that's the best news I've heard. Okay, that's that's Professor Amnon Shashua, and he is the president of CEO of Mobileye, which is a division of Intel. And wow, I mean, a lot of people are skeptical. I like what you had to say. Mad Money's back after the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.